in fact we know the there are the two important lines which is existing in our body that's those meridians or the channels or the network or the chinglu or the passage or the pathway to be regulated two lines so one is is the anterior line of the body the second line to be known as a posterior or the dorsal side of the line of the body in fact the meridians are located on the symmetrical level whereas in this meridian is located only one singular meridian that meridian is the anterior side of the body the other one is is the posterior side of the body right is the ventral side to be known as a this meridian then the dorsal meridian to be known as a brine meridian but however there is no person has been introduced the dorsal side of the spine meridian or that meridian to be known as a brine meridian which i understand personally because without using the do my meridian points and you cannot rectify anything connected to the brine dysfunction or brine related disorders definitely you need to touch and treat any kind of the illness most of the time based on the perspective of the macro traditional chinese medicine whereas in of course is the related to the scalp acupuncture is entirely different when we look at about the meridian system then you understand when there is anything connected to the c n s related problem then definitely we need to touch to one any one particular point that point to be known as a do my meridian or the governing vessel meridian or the du meridian or the governing vessel or which we call as a zero meridian the another meridian name to be known as a brine meridian right because it is connected to the chakras according to the yoga and according to the naturopathy then it is connected to the one chakra to other chakra there is a in direct connectivity is there which is connected to the cosmic energy at the same time which is connected to the earth energy both energies are joining together is communicating to the muladhara chakra at the same time is the crown chakra so both are where is it located it is located at the base of the skull base at top of the skull at the same time base of the pelvic girdle so therefore it is really really connected to that but now we are talking about the ren meridian or the conceptional meridian or the cv meridian or the direct vessel or when we understand about the curious meridian when we understand about the extraordinary meridian we understand about the evv vessels that's called as extraordinary vessels at the same time we understand this especially this having the major property to understand about the entire system of the body where the all the internal organs are governing and regulating through this channel most of the times when we understand about the pathways when i do the practical section today that will be really really amazing to understand about the how the internal organs are located how the back shoe inductories or the back shoe points which is called as a which called as a back shoe points which is located on the vesical meridian on the medial side and then lateral side of the meridian pathways so that also really awesome to understand and treat for the various organ related disorders at the same time how you can able to treat by activating this singular meridian for uh, treating for the internal organ related disorders that's very very crucial that's the reason this meridians are known as a crucial meridian curious meridian something is the, the the different names which we called as a inferior vena cava this is a new word for all of you but the meridian also to be known as a vena cava meridian you understand when i wanted to connect you where will going to connect the inferior vena cava where will going to connect the superior vena cava where this meridian will connect to the aorta where this meridian will connect to the, the renal, renal vein where this meridian connected to the celiac vein where this meridian is connected to the mesenteric vein mesenteric arteries all are connected to the all are connected to the internal organs definitely that's the reason this meridian is also regulating pathways on the vascular system connecting to the deeper internal organs directly and indirectly 
so that's the reason how back shoe points are connected to the internal organ most of the internal organs are located and lies beneath of these acupuncture points on the this particular meridian so we are seeing these are the points which is very very super simple way of understanding the most of the acupuncture points are great difficulty sometimes to understand and keep it about the tunes and then locations whereas in this particular meridian is very ang band karke aap samajh sakte ho aur needle laga sakte ho because there are the few contraindications as well but definitely that will be really helpful to you so now you just look at the image everybody knows what about the ren meridian or the conceptional meridian or the front line of the meridian you can see this is the line connectivity from the central or the exactly in the center of the body exactly in the center of the body the beauty of this particular point how you can able to treat by using the do my meridian when you apply the do my meridian you are activating to the ren meridian vice versa you are treating to the ren meridian you are activating to the spine as well because it is according to the tcm so dorsal side treatment to be given on the ventral side and vice versa right